the Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see Everyone's vlogs are aesthetic, okay, and my vlogs are just going to be an absolute mess. Oh my goodness, I forgot! Night. <laughs> oh, like you're in space. <laughs> you know I'm cool, yeah, I'm feeling alright. Today is Wednesday the 2nd of November. As you can tell by the title of this video, I am still unemployed. So I thought I would show you what a day in the life unemployed looks like. I woke up at around 7.45, 7.50 a.m. I open all of the blinds, then I make the bed. And then the next thing that I need to do is put on some lounge clothes because it is way too cold in here for me to be wearing these pajamas Ta -da! in the autumn and the winter it gets ridiculously cold in the caravan especially in the morning as soon as we wake up it is freezing obviously in the summer it doesn't it's then hot in the caravan so you can't ever have it one way or the other but we do have a gas heater however we don't use it it just isn't that great um but we do have a electric heater which is fabulous because you can set it on a timer so that it comes on and off whenever you want it to um but i'm not going to put it on this morning because although i'm cold i'm not cold enough that i feel like i need that on and also i am going to have a shower in the next half an hour so i'll be warm then so now what i want to do is i want to have some breakfast i don't normally drink a cup of tea or a cup of coffee in the mornings but because i'm cold and i've got no porridge any kind of breakfast that's going to warm me up i need a cup of tea and i think i'm going to have weetabix for breakfast i know that's really standard isn't it but <laughs> i'm gonna have weetabix i know that sounds absolutely bonkers but honestly if i was to just use the tap water in the kettle it will taste like hose so i need to fill the kettle up like manually outside good old trusty crux So this is our electric, which is hooked up onto here. And then at the back, this is our water. So this is our hose. Okay, whilst the kettle is boiling, I need to go outside and do some checks. And this is the checks that I will do every morning without fail. So the first thing I need to do is check how much is left on our electric. So our electric is done by a card. So this is the card. Whenever we are starting to run out, we will WhatsApp the groundskeeper and ask her to put more electric on the card. So we might say, can you put 20 quid on it? Can you put 40 quid on it? She will then put it onto the card. We can collect it usually the same day that we asked for it. At the moment we've got 20 pounds on there and that was fresh 20 pounds on there yesterday. And I think it gave us like 60 kilowatts or whatever it is in electricity, but let's check it. So that says 48. So the next thing that I do is after I've checked the electric, I then want to check that the gas is either on or off. We only turn it on when we need to have a shower. So I go around to the gas bottle. So to turn it on, I want to turn it to the left. So anti-clockwise. And then to switch the water on, we just have to turn this one to the flame. And there should be a green light. There you go. And then the last thing that I do in the morning is I empty out our water. So all of our water from when we wash our hands, when we have a shower, when we do the dishes, it all comes out of here. By the way, this is a bit gross. So disclaimer, this is gross. You can actually get pipes that hook into here and they trail along into the bushes, but we haven't got one yet. So I have to manually empty it. The last check that I will do, and that is inside, is I check that our toilet does not need emptying. I'm just going to look inside. No, it doesn't need emptying right now, but it will probably need emptying tomorrow. It should take around 10, 15 minutes for 
it to be ready for me to have a shower but obviously i wanted to have a cup of tea and breakfast anyway so it doesn't matter too much let's get cracking with making breakfast <laughs> I don't actually shower in a bralette and shorts, but for the purposes of this video, I don't want anyone seeing me naked naked because that would not be a great sight to see. Let's have this shower because I smell. <laughs> Even though I try, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. Cause you wouldn't do it to me. My goodness I forgot I forget this every time I keep on forgetting that I bought the foxy locks gold luxury hair oil you can put it on wet hair and it like helps to detangle your hair add gloss and heat protection so I the annoying thing about this right is it smells amaze balls like if I could eat it I'd drink it but it doesn't even say anything on the back, like how many drops you should use, whether you should use it on wet or dry hair. Like there's no instructions at all. So I had to Google it. Let's just do a couple. I'm not gonna do that much. Honestly, if I dry my hair now and it looks greasy, I'm gonna be fuming. <laughs> I can actually picture it. I'm gonna dry my hair now and it's gonna look really greasy. Touch wood. That does not happen. <laughs> Let's see if it's actually like detangled. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Wow. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. And the reason why I'm not giving it five is because it doesn't have instructions on it. And I just think that's a bit silly. I need to check the time because I have got a couple of interviews this afternoon. Well, I say interviews. One of them is an informal chat at my local Starbucks because they are recruiting for full-time baristas. I've never even been a barista before. I can barely make my own tea or coffee, really. But, you know, you just learn as you go, didn't you? That's how, like, most people do their job. They just learn as they go. And it should just be, like, 10, 15 minutes just going through what I'm looking for um, and then after that hopefully I'll get a formal interview arranged like for another day and another time. I do also have an interview this afternoon like a formal interview also like locally to me but it's in an office environment which is kind of what I'm used to now. So it is now five past nine and my informal chat is at two o'clock and my interview is at three o'clock i've actually still got like five hours what am i gonna do for another five hours okay i think what i'm going to do is load up my laptop and just do some job hunting just in case things don't go well today and i need to keep my options open and then i might go for a bit of a walk okay before i do the research and job hunting i need to do my skincare routine and brush my teeth which i've still not done yet because i'm gross <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Obviously, I was in the shower, so I kind of forgot that I should still do my skincare routine anyway. The skincare brand that I use is Tropic. My friend Katie is a brand ambassador. I use the ABC collection, which is the cleanser, toner, moisturiser, various different masks. I just use the deep hydration masks and a bamboo cloth. Hold up. Let's do the little rewind music. <laughs> The mask, I only do like once a week or twice a week. I don't do this every day. There you go, just wanna make sure I say that. <laughs> so the cleanser that I use is Tropic Smoothing Cleanser Complexion Purifier. It has green tree extract, golden jojo bar, and macadamia oils in it. I will use five pumps, rub my hands together, and then literally just put it all over my face. I will then use warm to hot water with my bamboo cloth and I will use that to wipe the cleanser off my face. I actually 
re-wet the bamboo cloth like five times. Before I move on to the second part of my skincare routine, which is the toner, I do actually splash my face with cold water to close my pores. So the toner I use is the Tropic Morning Mist Soothing Toning Essence. It's got avocado milk, aloe vera juice and tiger grass extract. I will just spray this five times directly onto my face. I find that it's quite wet as well. So I do have to kind of like waft my hands to try and get my face dry before I actually put the moisturizer on and then the moisturizer i use is the tropic skin feast nourishing moisturizer it's got raspberry seed oil ectoin molecules and kakadu plum extract i usually only do like a pea-sized amount but on this day i went a bit overboard got carried away and did like two pumps which ended up being too much which you will be able to see because i'm having to like put it all the way down my neck and just continuously like several times keep rubbing it in but i try and rub it in sort of upward circular motions i might as well mention now as well if i had makeup on so obviously this afternoon for my informal chat and my interview i'm gonna be wearing makeup so in the evening or whenever i want to take it off i won't just go straight for the cleanser you can but i don't want to get the bamboo cloth like coated in makeup so what i do is i use the mckella water and cotton pads then i will wash my face with my, with my normal like body wash which is the bondi sands it's what i used in the shower the bondi sands body wash um it smells of coconut smells amazing and then i will go into the skincare routine however i might use eight pumps of the cleanser instead of five just to make sure that i'm definitely getting it all off right next thing i need to do is brush my teeth <laughs> now i can actually get on with the research and the job hunting <laughs> for real this time Okay, let's do some research for the interview that I have got this afternoon. So when I am doing research for an interview, what I usually do is the first thing I do is I research the company. So I go on their website, I'll write down on a bit of paper, like a ton of stuff that I've seen on their website about their company, what are their services, uh, what are their core values within the team. The second thing that I will do is so I like to search um, on Google, like what is it like to work? Because usually you'll find that there are websites like Indeed, Glassdoor, and people have actually written their experience of working in the company. And then the third thing that I do is I will Google interview questions and answers based on that kind of line of work that industry so if it was a hospitality i'll put like hospitality interview questions and answers um i've got an informal chat with starbucks this afternoon but when it does come to me having the interview the day before i'm probably going to be searching things like um starbucks interview questions and answers fourth thing that i will do is i will go on to youtube now this doesn't count to every line of work so where i'm having my formal interview today um in an office environment they don't have a youtube channel but for example things like costa and starbucks especially starbucks there are people on YouTube that have posted videos like come to work with me at Starbucks. So it's handy for me to watch YouTube videos like that. So I do like to do a lot of things when I'm researching. I tend to do it a couple of days before and then maybe the day before as well. But I will write everything down on paper, what I think I need to know. And I will actually memorise it. So in the evenings when James is playing his Xbox, I'll be actually sat here on the sofa like I am now. Maybe not with a table, but I'll be like memorising things. <laughs> So this
this is my mid-morning snack. It's like half past 10 in the morning now. So I've done my research for my interviews and I've done some job hunting. Now I'm going to have my mid-morning snack, which is a glass of orange juice and then a bagel with half butter, half filly and then blueberries. Can I just say, right, since when have blueberries been that big? Look at the size of that mother effer. But let me do a quick outfit of the day and then we'll do a little walk. This is what I'm wearing just to do a little walk around. It was kind of just because I want a bit of fresh air and this was right there at the front when I opened my cupboard, so. It's a gray ribbed bodysuit, teddy jacket, both from Shein, a brown belt, that is from Shein as well. These jeans are the Tory mum jeans from New Look. And then I'm just wearing my white, Nike, oh I can't even get my leg up, <coughs> my white Nike Air Force trainers, I'm well I'm flexible, but that's it, that is literally it. I'm going to walk around the footpath that goes around the campsite that we live on and then I'm going to take a little stroll through the village because we do live in a small village and I've not walked through it yet. Stunning houses down here. Absolutely stunning houses. Oh my goodness. My IBS is kicking in. I need to get to the toilet. Shadow Hunters, The Mortal Instruments. I'm on the last season, episode seven. I'm going to lay on the bed and watch another episode. And then I'm going to make lunch. So let's do this. So I was supposed to watch only one episode but I ended up watching two episodes so it's now half past 12 and my informal chat at my local Starbucks is at two o'clock so I've only got an hour and a half to make lunch eat lunch and then get ready for the informal chat and that includes straightening my hair and doing my makeup so I'm in a bit of a rush now I'm gonna do avocado on toast with a fried egg as well I scrap this i'm not doing this i don't know why it's taken so long to I, like i don't understand is it just not ripe i'm not doing avocado on toast i give up as that lunch went wrong and i have even less time than i thought i'm gonna have a ben's golden vegetable rice this is the best rice in the world you could have it on your own or you could put bits of chicken in it what i like to do is Cook it in the microwave for two minutes because that's all you need to do. Two minutes in the microwave. And then I like to put Philadelphia in it. Give it a go and tell me what you think in the comment section below. It is... <clears throat> I don't know why I can't just wear the same thing, but I'm just weird and I don't want to wear the same thing. So I'm going to wear this to my informal chat. Obviously, they're the same. They're just different colours. And then the black trousers from New Look. So these are the same, just different colours. And then I'm going to wear my black shoes this is what it looks like on so the first product is bare minerals primer there we go the second product is bare minerals original foundation it's in the shade fairly light i am pale like very very pale but i like my foundation to be a bit darker than my skin the third product i am going to use is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blusher in the shade Pretty in Pink. Now, the issue I have with this is it has crumbled, but I'm just using my finger. I'm going to dab a bit on to my eyelids. The fourth product I'm going to use is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. What I like about this is, can you see the curve? It just makes it so much easier. The fifth product I'm going to use is the Revolution in the shade Chauffeur, Chauffeur, Chauffeur. I don't know how on earth you say it. And then the sixth, which is the final, last but not least product, is going to be my setting spray, the Urban Decay All Nighter. <laughs> 
Okay, that is gonna have to do. Let's go. Okay, I am here. I need to flick up my septum piercing, so I'm gonna do that now. And like that, it's disappeared. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, my informal chat at Starbucks went exceptionally well. It was literally 15 minutes. She was just asking me if I was looking for part-time or full-time, if I could do opening shifts and closing shifts. She said the opening shifts are like 6 a.m. until 2 p.m. And then the closing shift would be 11 a.m. until half past 7 p.m. She asked if I could go to a town that's a half hour drive away but not on a regular basis just sort of once every few months um, because they're short staffed and I would be paid for the mileage I said that was absolutely fine because I actually previously worked in that town when I quit my probation job that was where I was so no problems at all she's gonna feed that back to the manager because she's only the assistant manager she can't offer like formal interviews who should be getting into contact with me on either friday or monday next week but hopefully friday because that's only a couple days away so i'm actually going to go into the drive through now and order a single shot vanilla ice latte for my drive back home because i need to switch up my clothes to go to my formal interview at the office so let's do that this is my drink that i get from starbucks every time it's a uh, medium size and then a single shot vanilla iced latte so i'm gonna change let's attempt to do a cute little transition hey look at that this is my favorite perfume of all time right now i only bought this like a month ago it's the alien it doesn't matter what perfume it is it never seems to last on me this still lasts on me so before i go to that formal interview I've got to feed our friends, so I need to show you them. They are two pheasants, one male, one female. They are genuinely a couple. Well, like, we believe they're a couple anyway because they're literally always together. They're, like, stuck to each other like glue or something. Literally, every day without fail, they will be outside our caravan waiting for us to feed them. Their names are Ollie and Ellie. Meet them. Ollie! Hi, Ollie! Okay, I'm back from the formal interview at the office and I have a few hours now to just do whatever it is that I want to do and I feel like I've had quite a busy sort of productive day so I am just going to watch more episodes of the series that I'm watching. The interview went well but there was something about it that was not giving me like good vibes you know when you go to an interview and you have good vibes and you feel like this is great everyone seems lovely friendly welcoming polite like i want to work here but i just did not get that feeling like i wasn't getting good vibes i wasn't getting good vibes at all so i'm not too sure and i can't i can't put my finger on it but normally i always go with my gut like i go with what my instincts are telling me and they're telling me to just not to not go but however on other news i got a call from the manager at our local harvester asking me to come in for a trial i had an interview with her a couple weeks ago or a few weeks ago now and i got offered a trial but i didn't go because i love the harvester like if you know me i love the harvester it's my favorite place to eat i would choose that over anything any day and i was a bit worried about kind of seeing the behind the scenes like would it put me off would i not enjoy it when i go to eat anymore because like i see it every day so i ended up not doing it but the thing is I can't keep putting it off like I need to I need to do it and if I don't like it I don't like it that's the thing the trial is for me to decide if I like it or not it's not for them it's for me so I should just do it but my trial is this evening so five o'clock till nine o'clock 5 p.m till 9 p.m I'm quite picky at the moment I'm being very very picky considering I'm unemployed and I don't know why I'm doing that because I don't like that I'm unemployed but at the same time I do I'm enjoying having my own time but in terms of money, like, I just don't have money. Here it is. I am at my local harvester.
She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to